what is going on guys hope everyone out there is having an awesome day I am back it's been a while it's been a minute <laughs> took a little break on the YouTube there and we were just kind of you know taking some time for ourselves we've been going hard since uh, all this crazy stuff has been happening in the world since pretty much March after everything kind of went crazy there in the spring uh, we just focus on work here working online uh, put out lots of YouTube videos and just, and just growing like we always do and uh, yeah, so after a while, you know, it kind of gets to you and you got to take a little break for uh, some me time. So yeah, we've just been cleaning up the gardens here. Check it out. Everything's nice and clean. So before I get into what's going on here in the garden, I'm going to show you guys an unboxing. And uh, I've got a new grow light, new flagship grow light I'm going to be growing with. So pretty damn excited with that. Got that all in the garden and uh, show you some sneak peeks here right away. We're going to show you that unboxing and then we'll take you on a tour of what we got growing on right now. So I finally got the light in that I've been waiting for for quite a while now. The new Optic 8 Plus Next Gen which is the flagship of Optic LED. And it's been out for a little bit now, a couple months. But it's the last of the optics to be upgraded. It's now upgraded to 55 watts. It's now upgraded to 550 watts and quite a bit has been changed with it. It now has a bigger body. Uh, the Cobb lenses have new holders so it looks really nice. The body is bigger and wider now than the old version allowing for better heat dispersion. Also the bloom enhancers have been upgraded to the Samsung LEDs, the LM301Hs which are pretty much the standard in the industry right now along with the Cree XBE reds and blues for the bloom enhancers and the UV and IR along with a new design for the bloom enhancers makes us a really badass setup now and really covers a really nice area with all the bloom enhancers now. The cobs before used to be 90 degrees now they're 120 degree lenses on these so now you have a better par spread with this light and you're still getting the really deep penetration of the cob light so you can still grow massive plants get your light all the way down to the very bottom of the canopies, growing deep, dense buds all the way down. And that's why this light is the commercial grower's go-to light when they're going with optic. Uh, they all love this light because it produces awesome and it does an amazing job with uh, large plants, which commercial growers like to do, and with big, deep canopies. They like to do multiple trellis nets and really get their canopies as big as possible. And that's why this light is definitely king for that. The cooling system has also been upgraded on these lights uh, now with a bigger uh, heat sink. Now these come with larger overbuilt heat sinks that really help disperse the heat in these. Also all the next generation lights come with ports for the master controller so if you want to do sunrise to sunset uh, master controller setup to have total control of your lights you can do that. For drivers it's using three commercial grade meanwhile drivers uh, dimmable drivers for me that's a huge selling point for me the dimmable drivers for this day and age, uh, dimmable drivers is a must. So with all these upgrades overall, this light is now more powerful with 550 watts, but it's also more efficient now because it's running at 2.4 umols per joule. So that is a pretty decent efficiency when you're using Cree cobs. And the grow areas this light is recommended for is a 4x4 to a 5x5 foot area. This light is going to be a really nice upgrade for me coming from the old Optic 8 Plus which was the 90 degree lenses. Because my tent's only 6.6 .6 feet tall uh, it does give me some restrictions for height so with this new upgrade with 120 degree lenses it'll be able to get closer to the plants and give better light spread meaning less hot spots for my plants and I can keep it a little bit closer compared to the other one. All right guys, we got the new Optic 8 Plus Next Gen all set up here. Looking beautiful. And uh, we're gonna be rocking it in the 4x4 grow tent here. And uh, this is the tent I had my other Optic in. So we're gonna see the difference growing with this new Next Gen compared to the old one. Should be an awesome grow series, so make sure you guys stay tuned for upcoming updates here. And I am super excited and I'm super pumped for the genetics I'm going to be growing. I'm going to be growing pretty much a lot of cushes. Some really, really dank old school cushes. Cushes that you used to remember like from back in the day. What you remember cushes used to taste like. Nowadays everything's a cush cross. And I'm kind of tired of cush crosses. I want the real deal. Show you guys a little tour of what we got growing on here. So nothing really growing at the minute. But 
Uh, what we did was really clean out all these tents, wipe all the walls down. Uh, I do up a uh, vinegar mixture, which is like half water, half vinegar and I just wipe everything down nice and good. One thing I noticed with this tent, if you haven't noticed, this is a secret garden tent that I have my uh, Slim 600H in. And one thing I noticed that I don't really like about this tent, and I'll mention to you guys while I'm on the topic, is as you can see here, we have the catcher pad. And these catcher pads absolutely suck for these tents. Uh, the sides are like flat. I don't like this at all. I like how others do it where it's actually rigid and stays up good. This kind of just falls over and I really don't like that. Also, the bottom below it is fabric. This is a terrible design. Why would it be fabric? It doesn't make any sense. To me, if the walls, the roof, is everything is mylar, why would the bottom be fabric? It doesn't make any sense. It should be mylar too, so you can just take this off and clean this area because if any dust or debris fall down here it you know it, it's hard to get off I can wipe it but it's not really gonna come off that good so I was using paper towel and I think that's a bad thing to use because now I just got like kind of paper towel little bits pieces all over there so that's not good um, so yeah something to be aware of if you're thinking about getting a secret garden tent I really do not like this kind of setup so if anyone's watching from their company, you guys gotta change this shit. It's, this is, this is so annoying. This is the Gorilla Grow Tent. This is the light. And this is how a grow tent should be. This is the bottom. I cleaned it all out. I took off the, uh, you know, the top layer I put in here while I was cleaning. And it's simple. It's clean everything nice and good. There's no dust, there's no nothing in here. But when you got fabric, that just makes it way, way more annoying to clean. But besides that, uh, yeah, we're dealing with, uh, we want to take out all the bugs that were in here. We had some spider mites. First time we had spider mites in like eight years. So we stopped growing there for like a month, almost a month there. And uh, right now we are having the lights going on so we can uh, pretty much wake up the, the eggs. If there's any eggs in here, they'll hatch and they'll be hungry and they'll look for food and I'm gonna be starting some uh, beans, some uh, little bean plants and I guess they're really attracted to like, you know, bush beans or whatever, just the leaves and stuff. So we're gonna start some beans, put them in each tent and uh, see if we can track some spider mites here. And uh, after that, if we see some, we're gonna be doing a big cleaning again. Then after that, we're gonna be getting some bug helpers pretty much, we're gonna order some up and uh, use them to fight off the, the bad bugs, use the good bugs to fight the bad bugs, use the good mites. And uh, I've never tried that before, but we'll give it a try. This is what we got growing on now. Same thing, I cleaned this one all good. Um, again, here's, here's what I expect a bottom to be like for a tent. I expect it to be rigid and, you know, be able, be able to like hold some water if some water spills. The Seeking Garden can't do that, and if it ever spilt, you know, here it wouldn't be any problem at all because I could just, you know, take this out and I would wipe the bottom up because, you know, it's all mylar. But you can't do that with Seeking Garden. And as you can see here, this Secret Garden here, it's got some stains. Check this out. I don't know what the hell these stains were or why they came like this. Uh, same nutrients, same everything. But something with this fabric, it's stained really weirdly. And again, secret garden here, fabric underneath. I don't like it at all. And these are just so flimsy here. Definitely a design flaw, I would say. Also, I'd say right now is an awesome time to get into gardening because gardening helps relieve stress. It is a stress reliever, helps you get your mind off things, helps you kind of focus on something simple, something that takes a while to grow. And when you finish a grow off, the benefits you get from the buds, from everything, is such an awesome feeling when you first do it. So to me, I would say if you're not into growing yet, this is the year to get into growing. Um, if there is any year, I would say now is the time. Um, yeah, time to be self-sufficient on the buds, save you some money, 
And while I'm on the topic, we got a sale going on on the Optic LEDs right now. Pretty much all prices on the lights have dropped down the board. So if you're interested in getting some badass LEDs, some of the best LEDs on the market, make sure you guys go over to my uh, Instagram page, Dr. Autoflower. You can PM me if you want to chat about lights. I can help you decide on which light is the best to go with in your grow situation or whatever. Uh, sometimes it can be a little difficult if you're a newbie, so I can help you with that. And if you don't have Instagram, you can always email me at drartoflowercannabis at gmail.com. So with fall and winter coming here soon, uh, now is definitely a good time to be thinking about getting a new LED light if you're thinking about it, now that they're going on sale. All right guys, I'm gonna show you a little sneak peek of what I'm gonna be growing here in the next grow series. We got the OG Kush number 18, one of the badass old school OG Kushes. We got four of these, these are all feminized. Lemon OG, we got two of those. We got some DNA Genetics Holy Grail, and we got some Dynafem uh, OG Kush. So all feminized, all Kushes, and we are gonna find out which is the cushiest. That's it for this update though. Uh, we're gonna do some more videos here very soon and uh, yeah, gonna be starting at groceries very damn soon. So stay tuned for that guys and until next time, peace out and catch you guys later.